It's weird, because I talked to Central yesterday and nothing was wrong. Well, honey, they called and they said the system was offline, so I don't know, we'll see. Brian, nothing's offline. Everything's fine. Oh, God, be careful. Oh, it's all right. I'd have to hook these jumper cables to my bare skin to uh, be hurt. Oh, don't do that. Wait. If you want something really electrifying. Oh, uh, you know what? Uh, I'm going to put you on hold for a second. I got some uh, animal activity over at Snowman's Pass. Anna, I just want to tell you how much I love you. I love you, too. Okay, come on. No, 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 no. No, one, no one's watching. The cameras are off. Later, 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 later. Yes, sir, I'm back. What is that? What are you doing? Nothing. No, show me. What have you got? Come on, what is it? No. Tell me, no, tell me, tell me. No. Hey, not here. Come with me. Well, I discovered this trail the last time I was up here. And uh, I think it's an old gold miner route. What do you think? Wow. It's beautiful. It is. So are you, Diana. <laughs> I brought you here into the mountains that we both love because I just thought it was the perfect place to, um... Diana? Will you marry me? Oh, my God. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Brian, it's beautiful. <laughs> She's not yes! She's not yes! She's not yes! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Ah, that's wild. Oh, yeah. What's that doing up there? Huh. It's weird. Yeah, mysterious ladder. Hmm. Maybe it leads to gold. <laughs> I'm serious. This is Snowman's Pass. I mean, we both heard the stories of lost and missing gold. What do you think? Race you to the top? What, are you afraid to get beat? Ha! See you at the top. All right. Ha! Ha! Diana, be careful. Oh, it's easy. Yeah, maybe for you. So what's up there? Gold. Piles of it. How many kids do you want to have? I was thinking like three. Let go of me or we're both gonna fall. Okay, I got you. Hold on. Nope. Oh. No, Brian, hold on. 
I love you. I always will. No! Yeah, well, don't blame me, okay? It's the budget cuts. I, okay, I gotta call, come here. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to call you back. Yes? Yeah, hi, it's Diana Pennington. I have a fallen injured man. Uh, okay, so slow down, slow down. It's Brian. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay, I'll, I'll send help right away. Okay. Yeah, it's Eugene at Central. Uh, look, we got a situation at Snowman's Pass. Seeing you in so long. How are you keeping? Good. Just keeping busy if it's in the house. Still? Yeah. Must be a castle in the woods by now. <laughs> Almost. Hey, there's gonna be a dance on Friday night. You should go. Get out there and shake your tail feathers a bit. Yeah, you know, I probably should do that. One of these days. You can't keep living like a hermit, kiddo. It's not good for you. I know. I appreciate the concern, Ed. <sighs> Just not ready yet, you know? Diana? Diana Pennington? Yeah. Diana Pennington, the guide? That's right. Hey, Kurt Sievers. I'd like to hire you. All right. OK, well, what do you have in mind? Day hike, some rock climbing? Something a little more ambitious. Snowman's Pass. All right. Well, sorry, I can't help you with that, but Ed here, he's a, he's a guide. Uh, yeah, but they say you're the best. And I don't hire a second best. And that's no offense. None taken. <laughs> She's the best, but I think you might be barking up the wrong tree. I'll pay you top dollar. That doesn't matter. I can't take you there. They say you've been there more than anybody else. They say that you know the place better than anybody else. Uh, mister, she said no. 
What if I told you I can find Brian? What are you, sick? Get out. Get out of my store. I'm serious. I can find him. If you want to talk, I'll be in the coffee shop. My God. I'm sorry, Diana, but he, he was totally out of line. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're not seriously thinking about doing this. Diana, we had the best search teams looking for Brian, and they never found him. Some stranger marches in here two years later and says he can? It's insane. Why would you even consider this? Because I never got to say goodbye. If there's even just that slightest chance. What do you know about Brian? I'm not staying. Tell me how you know about Brian. I research the people I'm gonna hire very carefully. So you would know that Brian's dead. I also know that he's never been found. In spite of extensive searches by you, alone, again and again. You kept going back, even when you knew there was no hope. I can find him for you. <sighs> coffee's the way you like it. Double cream, double sugar. I was telling you how I drink my coffee. <laughs> no, no, they did. You familiar with satellite mapping? Cameras in stationary orbit over the Earth? I've written a people-finding computer program called Search Lamp. Look, that's you, 9.22 a.m., getting into your Jeep. You're spying on me? No, 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 this is just a demonstration of what Search Lamp can do. I don't understand. Why Brian? He's dead. Right? There's thousands of missing people out there you could be looking for. If I can find Brian, it'll prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that search lamp works. I need a remote location far away from prying eyes for the field test. I've been the victim of industrial sabotage before. I've had years of my work stolen. I even caught the guy who did it, but didn't have any proof, so... Legally, there was nothing I could do. If I find Brian, the search lamp may bring joy to many. And for you, it could bring closure. I will find him. I'll do it. Good. Thank you. No. Don't thank me. <sighs> Listen to me. If this is some kind of hoax, right, or some kind of wild goose chase, so help me God, I will leave you in the mountains. And then you better pray that that little precious program of yours helps you find your way out.
Who's the model? It's Tyler. It's supposed to be some hotshot climber, but I think he's a nerd. Because his backpack's full of computer stuff. And uh, Mr. Security there guarding the president? It's Hugo. Real charmer, that guy. He hasn't said a word to me yet. What's with the earpiece? I don't know. I don't know, but they all have them, and they're constantly muttering into them. Whatever. I don't dress them. I just guide them. You know, I don't like this. I don't like them. I want you to take this. Ed, I do this to keep away from those things. Besides, if I really need one, they all have one. Sorry about the body bag. We're gonna need that. We'll we'll take care of the recovery and everything. Okay. Diana. Just take it, okay? Please. Oh. Just to make me feel better. Okay. You worry about me too much. That's where we're going, huh? Yep. Great. What? Nothing. Just, that's the first time I've seen you smile. That's all. Hey, I need a minute to link up. Two o'clock. Squirrel acting very suspiciously. Hey, do I get one of those? Whoa. Oh, hey, uh, sorry, Diana. These are very sensitive pieces of equipment. All you got to do is whisper and. Huh? Why don't you go say hello to Search Lamp? This is the area we're in. And there's Snowman's Pass. That's us, or was us, 10 minutes ago. I can hardly see anything. It's not a real-time download. But with digital enhancement, I could read the uh, license plate on this vehicle. So, you guys all set then? Yeah. We head up this way. Bears out here? Yeah. If they saw you, Hugo, they'd run. No. Don't worry about bears. Oh, God. See how beautiful this is? You see things up here you can't believe. I saw the most beautiful shooting star one time. Wait. You saw what? A comet or a meteor. I, you know, I really don't know what it was, but. It just lit up the entire sky, and I swear, it looked like it landed in the past. When was that? I don't know, like two or three weeks ago. Most amazing thing I've ever seen. Well, I guess that must have been the <laughs> talk of the town, huh? No, I was the only one that saw it. Narrow. 
lot of falling rock. Slow down, I've lost the link. I have to reconnect. All right, you're gonna tell me more about this search lamp program? Come on, who am I gonna tell out here? Oh, all right. As long as we get a chance to rest, I'll tell you whatever you wanna know. But look, look, basically, basically, it, it decodes satellite imagery to identify human mass and movement and even reads our specific uh, body temperature. Yeah, but I, I Brian... Know. I know. Brian doesn't have any heat signature or body movement, but it also searches out artifacts, anomalies that are unique to humans, like uh, metal or clothing, unnatural colors. <laughs> This door's unlocked? Yeah, it's a weather station and a warming hut and a first aid room, so it's always gotta be unlocked. Jeez, even with all the computer equipment? Yeah, well, they're all bolted down. If anything goes offline, they get a warning signal at Central. And there's that. Is this monitored by who? Yeah, it's monitored by Central. There's just one guy, he gets pretty busy. Hey, 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 can he not do that? He's, uh, he's very sensitive. He knows I don't want any of the competition to know where it is I'm gonna field test my equipment. I'm gonna check in. Yeah, hi. Diana Pennington plus three guests. Checking in at Snowman's Pass. Okay, bye. All right, tough guy, let's go set up camp. Hugo, wave bye-bye to the camera and shut the door on your way out. reason we didn't helicopter in is? Snowman's Pass is way too narrow. And the winds are way too unpredictable. Oh, come on. A little hiking's not gonna kill you. Hey, how are those new fancy shoes holding up? I haven't felt my feet for an hour. Isn't this beautiful? The fresh air, the mountains? I come up here all the time and just watch. Watch? What do you want? Nothing. Everything. You know, it's just this constant cycle of life. I find comfort in just realizing how tiny I really am up here, you know? All my troubles in my life are meaningless. I can't believe you'd do this after Brian. I guess you wouldn't understand. No, I think I do understand. I mean, I've never lost somebody that I loved like you did, but I did lose something that I'll never get back. And afterwards, I started climbing higher and higher. I wanted to live in the sky above everything, but always knowing I'd have to come back down to Earth. There's too much talking, I told you.
right, we're stopping here. Thank you. Thank you. And I thank you. Yeah, well, it is an arrest stop. Okay, let's get geared up. Tyler, I want to see you climb. You want to see me climb? Take that thing out of your ear. I just want you listening to me when we're up there. I hear you fast. Well, so am I. Hugo, Kurt, you'll belay us. We're belaying? Holding the ropes. <laughs> Hugo, take this. Grip it in. Right there. Look it on. Lock it in. This is where you bring in the slack. This is where you break. OK. It's easy. Got it. So you're not weightlifting. You know, you're not yanking us up the mountain. You're just pulling in the slack and breaking. OK? Got it? Oh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's see what the best can do. Guys, this is nothing for Diana. She could free solo this if she wanted to. That means no ropes, no harnesses, just a little bit of chalk, and up she goes. You're kidding me. That's crazy. It's not crazy. It's the ultimate. It's just you and nature. But every time you got to beat them out. And one day, the mountain beats you. Just pretty good? All right, verging on really good. Hey, uh, we going over that? No. Want to try it? <laughs> no, not today. Hey, too tight. Give me a little slack. Oh. Yeah. All right. First time. You're doing fine. I can take you two up for a climb if you want. <laughs> no way. Not a chance. All right, we're going to climb down. 
down. Once we pass the protection, then you're gonna lower us. Okay, Diana. Diana, thank you. Thank you. No, you know what? When I say something to you, you have to listen to me. But Diana, it wasn't even. No, guys, people die up here. You understand that? About today, earlier, I'm sorry. That was really stupid of me. Yeah. Just don't do it again, okay? Deal. How close are we to the pass? An hour? 52 minutes, actually, according to our projected foot speed and the upcoming terrain. By the way, why do they call it Snowman's Pass? What? You didn't look that up on the net? I'm shocked. Tyler's not allowed on the net. That's part of his probation. Well, yeah, the time was Tyler was a master hacker before he got caught. By us? Oh. Well, Snowman's Pass is named after an old gold miner. You've never heard this story? No. Let's hear it. Okay. It's 1890. And three miners leave the gold fields in the dead of winter with a dozen mules and half a ton of gold, which is $30 an ounce then. Well, six months later, only one of the miners stumbles out of the woods. A snowman. To survive, he ate all of the mules and his two comrades. So the snowman goes back into the woods to get the gold. It disappears. Neither he or the gold is ever found. The legend says that the snowman still guards his gold from beyond the grave. They say he gets you mad by whispering in your ear and making you see things all to lure you away from the treasure. Now they say that you can hear his voice in the wind, but you have to listen really carefully. Listen. 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 <laughs> Suckers. Oh, put it away. This trip's over. We go home in the morning. Diana, come on. Oh, he has a gun. Oh, my God, I can't believe this. It's a hike in the park, and he has a gun. Hugo responded the way a bodyguard is trained to respond. My life depends on his reflexes the same way that you depend on your instincts as a guide. Not with a gun. It's the tools of the trade. Look, give it, give it. Look, you got a problem with a gun? There, no gun. Diana, you gotta admit, you started this. And for what it's worth, you scared the hell out of me, even before the 
air horn or bear horn or whatever it was. It was a joke. Ugh. God, obviously I shouldn't have done it. Perhaps later we'll all laugh about it. Yeah, I can laugh. Could have fooled me. <sighs> okay. Whatever, just none of this happened, okay? Good night. I'm going to bed. I'll see you in the morning. I'm sorry, are you on the phone? No. Well, yeah, but am I getting signals now? <laughs> Neither can I, but I got one before we got here. I think we're in a dead zone. But if your phone call is that important, you don't have to go that far to get your signal back. No, it's no big deal. Okay. Look, I just want to say good night, and I had no idea Hugo had the gun. Just so you know, that bothered me as well. Thanks. Good night. Good night. Hugo, go left 10 feet. No, 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 other left. Other left. Your right, the hand you punch people with. Diana, go back 10, 15 feet. Back? Yeah, 10, 15 feet. In the creek? Oh, okay. Thanks. That's all I need from you, then. Hey, why are we taking pictures here, anyway? Or is that some big secret, too? No, this I can tell you. The computer's learning the terrain. It has to know what's indigenous, like the rocks and the trees, as to what's... Unnatural? Like Brian? Yeah. Sorry. Don't apologize. Get so sick of people telling me how sorry they are. Can I ask you a personal question? Yesterday, Kurt said that, that you're on probation. Yeah, they're pretty loose-lipped about that. I'm just wondering why they would hire you when they're so tight with their security. They were impressed with my hacking. I was impressed they caught me. I wish it never happened. Sorry, I really am. I know this is difficult, and I hate to do this, but I need certain data. Like what color clothing Brian was wearing at the time, if he had any metal objects on him. It's been so long. He was wearing a 
green jacket, gray pants. Mine's attractive. He's saying too much, they're getting too close. I don't like it. Well, I'll keep an eye on him. It looks like he might jeopardize the mission. Well, two can fall as easy as one. Hugo and Tyler are bringing him up right now. We're like a mile from Snowman's Pass. I mean, how could he make it that far? Well, we found this. Take a while. Why don't you go back to camp? No, 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 and I'm not leaving you here. Oh, oh all right. Well, here, no, take this. It's got a one mile radius, you'll be in constant contact. Don't see him now. Remember him the way he was. Where are you going? Just gonna say, I don't know, something. Oh, you don't say anything. Leave her alone. We can't just sit here and do nothing. Oh, you want something to do, Tyler? Here, watch this. Hey. hey, go get the microphone from her, okay? And get her away from that body bag. I'm so sorry. never would have left you, you know? It's been so scary. Hey, I brought you some coffee. And I apologize, but I need an earmic back. Not for the party, huh? Not much of a party. 
party, trust me. You okay? You wanna talk? Yeah. You know what? Closure is so overrated. Really, it's not as good as advertised. I think I want my money back. I don't trust them. Last time I came up here, I sat on the edge, watching my tears falling into the fog. I took off my ring and let it fall into the clouds. It looked so soft and so gentle, so quiet and peaceful. I was so tired, I just had nothing left. I thought, why not? I already felt dead inside. And then I felt Brian's hand on my shoulder. And I heard his voice. No. And what I just can't let go of is that I left him. But I should have just stayed there by his side. Diana, you went to get help. You did the right thing. Yeah. Yeah, I did the right thing. Why is he there? You know, why Why is he there and not sitting beside me? No offense. You know, I really appreciate how easy you've tried to make this for me. Thank you. Don't. Don't thank me. Have a talk with the kid. Tyler. I'm in the middle of work. What's the problem? You might be. Come on, we gotta talk. Straighten out a few things. Let's go. Straighten things out like how we have a body bag with no body in it? How are we gonna explain that when we get back? That's not your concern. No, I think it is my concern. Let's go for a walk, Tyler. All right, Hugo, you want to beat me up? This is as good a place as any. Well, that all depends on you. Listen, you lied to Diane and deceived her from the start. We all have. It was part of the plan. But I didn't Oh, expect come on, Tyler. What's the problem now, huh? Look, I get it, all right? She's pretty, she's nice, she's had a sad past. Very soon, you're going to be a millionaire. Come back later, take her away from all this. Be the man Brian never was. Whatever you want. Yeah, but... But what? Look, until you're finished, you're either with her or with us. It's your choice. So choose now. I'm with you. I'll stick with the plan. Atta boy.
Our boy Tyler here has a new attitude. You won't cause any more trouble, will you, Tyler? I know my job, but we probably just lost three hours of work. You're the whiz. Figure it out. Hey. Whatever. We've come too far for you two to fall apart now. So fix it between. over there. Are you going someplace, Diana? Oh, no, <laughs> just uh, stretching my legs. Oh, are you stretching them all the way back to town, maybe, without us? Because it sort of looks like you're leaving. No, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I think you do. Hugo! I wasn't sure till now, but now I am. No, you're wrong. Oh, no, I'm being perfectly logical. Nice to see you, Diana. Stop her! Grab her! Get her! Knock her down! It'd be easier if I had my gun. Never mind, never mind. Diana, honey! Look above you! 
You can't climb over that. Hey, what's all the yelling about? Why is she up there? She knows. She figured it out somehow. You guys were after something else the whole time. This was never about Brian. Not, not really, no. Sorry. But what about the driver's license? How'd you fake that? <laughs> Ask Tyler. Why me? Because I needed a guide to get us here. That shooting star that you thought you saw, it was a spy satellite. And it came down here in the middle of no place. Nobody could find it, but I did. I found it. So what's in the bag? Riches. Information that powers the world over would give millions to get their hands on. Hundreds of millions. Diana, come on down. Let's talk. Yeah, I'll talk. I'll talk to the police. Yeah? Well, you know, last night, when you weren't in your tent, I went in and I took this. Just for safekeeping. But when you found out you lied to me, I got something for safekeeping, too. Right out of Tyler's computer. Oh, no, 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 no. What is it? Well, what's on the disk? Everything. Search lamp, the coordinates for the satellite. That falls in the wrong hands. What? It is in the wrong hands. What? What did you do, leave it on the computer for her to find it? I tried to shut it down, but Hugo kept dragging me away. I told him. All right, all right, all right. Hang on. Uh, you're the climber. Get your rope and gear and get up there and get her down. Well, look, either you get her down from there or we sit here and wait for her to fall down. What do you want? Diana, will you listen to me? You're just making this worse for yourself. You know you are. Come on down. You're with friends. I can't catch her. You will when she reaches that. She can't climb over that with her bare hands. Get up there, grab her, get her down. Back off. I'll throw the disc off the cliff. Oh, Diana, I'm sorry. They have backups. The only way for you to hurt them is to put it out over the net. Diana, the black box from that spy satellite contains information that a dozen countries would give hundreds of millions for. Our opening bid will be a hundred million dollars. We'll cut you in. Come on down, let's talk. Tyler. Don't do this. You owe me. Diana, come down and I'll protect you, okay? I promise I'll protect you from those guys. You'll protect me from them? You're one of them. No, I'm not. Remember when I told you I lost something that I can't get back? Well, I lost my life. I lost my life to those two. I'm on probation with them. They caught me. They threatened me. They forced me to do this. And now I'm in so deep, I can't get out. I never thought this would happen. Because you didn't want to. You know, Tyler, there's always a way out if you really want it. Come on, come with me. Diana, what are you, crazy? Get her! Grab her leg! Let go. I can't hang on. Diana, tie on to me. We'll go down together. Diana, you're getting tired. You have no choice. No, I do. And so do you. All right, jump! Why the hell did you do that? Because, Kurt, you only gave me two choices. One, push her up and save her. Two, pull her down and kill her, and I'm not a murderer. Relax, anyways. This bluff goes nowhere. She has to come down to get home. Just wait until she's cold and hungry enough, she'll give up. Are you sure about that, Tyler? Hmm? You better be right. Hey. You better be right. Huh? You got that? Come on down. Meet us again. Even. 
Take Kurt's deal. We'll make a lot of money out of this. I don't want money. <laughs> I wanted Brian. Diana, what are you gonna do now? Where are you gonna go? Diana? You still there? Tyler, just cut the chat and get back to camp. Police chopper shows up. You've got three seconds to throw it down. One, two. Help him, Diana. Save him. You're never going to get away with this. It's your last chance. It's another guy you care for who's going to die. Three. Wait, 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 wait. Time's up. <laughs> you killed him, Diana. Not us. Not dead. Oh, Maggie's history will never get out. It's her we gotta get. Why? We've got the black box. We can be long gone by the time she gets home, if she ever does. She saw us throw Tyler over the edge. She's got the search lamp disc. We got no choice. We gotta get her. We'll find her. Don't worry. It'll just take a little time. You can't order up a satellite like ordering a pizza. But she's up there, town's back that way, and here we are, right in the middle in Snowman's Pass, blocking her way home. So, you go on back up there and box her in. But she's up there, watching us. I know she is, I can feel it. You, get on up there. What are they doing? Well, go on, I'll locate her, go! Box her in! Found her yet? No, I'm still getting delayed visuals from 10 minutes ago. But she's up there, hiding, not moving, waiting for us to leave. But when I get real-time visuals, she won't be able to hide. She'll be radiating heat. And I'll be able to talk you right to her. Hey, Hugo. Hugo, huh? 
how are you doing? Hugo, can you hear me? Hugo. Get us out of here. Oh, it's not working. Hugo. She's with Tyler. Hugo. Where are you? Hugo! Right here. What happened? I'll kill her. I swear I'll kill her. Where is she? She's with what are you talking about? She's got his mic. I heard them talking. Come on. Oh, thank God you're alive. Can you move your feet? No, 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 lay down. Okay, it's really important that you lie still and not move, okay? Tyler, just hang on. Relax. Be back. I'll be back, okay? Diana, <coughs> don't go. Come back for you, okay? I promise. Back to town. Nah, it's too far. The weather hut. That's where she's at. Maybe. Now, who knows? You gotta go there. Keep your headset on, stay in contact. If she can't outrun search lamp. Okay. Uh. Okay, I got her. She's heading for the waterfall. Just ahead of you. If you hurry, cut her off. Where is she now? She's ahead of you. She's moving fast. He's dying. Keep on going, I'll catch up to you. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Just a few minutes, come on. Hugo, Hugo, she's going up. She's going up! I'll wait here. 
down. Last I saw, she was coming up the path towards you. I don't see her. Where is she now? Is she, where'd she go? Kurt! Kurt, you hear me? seen her? No, Kurt, not yet. Damn. Either she's waiting for night or she's going back the other way. With the computer down, we're blind. You stay here. I'll go back to camp. All right. She can't come up the path. She can't go back down to camp. The only thing close to where she is, is that weather station we were at. But she can't get there unless she goes across the valley. Now, here we are. She doesn't know that we know she's listening. So, she won't be traveling as fast. If we shake a leg, we can be there opening the door for her when she gets to the cabin. Come on. Path. Yeah. And, uh, she's not back here at the campsite either, so I guess there's nothing more we can do except sit tight and wait. <clears throat> Damn. She could be miles away by now. Why do I hear you so clearly? It's got a one-mile radius. One mile. She's signaling. offline. Come on, answer. Oh, there's, a, there's a storm front moving in across the lake. I got to issue a small craft warning. It's going to take all night. We got you! I'm 
really gotta answer this now, baby. Okay, don't talk to me like that, all right? You know what that does to me. Eugene! You have to tear it off. You just have to nudge it off my Hello, this is Central. How can I help you? Hello? Hello? Hello. Can anybody hear me? Diana! You're on your own now. <coughs> this door won't keep us out for long. Yeah? Well, I called the police, and they're sending a chopper. <laughs> Good try. I don't think anybody's gonna hear your cry for help. Yeah? Well, it might be offline now, so they're gonna come and fix it. <laughs> to fix an unmanned weather station. <laughs> Maybe they'll come. Uh, a week or two, and some monkey gets around to it. And by then, what will be left of you for them to find, huh? You gotta face it, Diana. You ain't got no options. Come on, Diana. Make it easy on yourself. Just give up! I got your search lamp disc. I swear to God, if you don't leave right now, I will send it all over the net. Yeah. How are you gonna send it? By carrier pigeon? <laughs> you know that that thing's offline! Yeah? Well, see, when the dish fails, there's a landline that automatically leads the computers to Central. See, I hit one button, and this goes all over the world. She's bluffing. There's no landline. It's buried in the ground for environmental reasons. So the animals can't get to it. Make sure. Make sure. You know, Diana, there's a very simple solution to this. Back off. Back off or I send it out. Just give us the disc and we'll leave. What are you doing in there? I'm making copies for every hard drive here. Gun, she'd be dead. Okay. Diana, it's time for us to talk. I have nothing to say to you. I, it, it must have been heart wrenching for you to leave Tyler up there to die. At Super Saver Groceries. Central. Look, I'm having a problem with the Snowman's Pass weather station. Uh, the microwave dish seems to be offline again. I'm not getting any signal. No, I bolted that thing down myself. A tornado wouldn't budge it. <laughs> Are you really gonna leave another man alone on Snowman's Pass to die? Shut up! Poor Tyler. Think about him. Alone, in pain, maybe thinking of you, maybe calling you, help me, Diana. Stop it! It's okay to leave a helpless man up there to die. I understand. When you left Brian, you were only thinking of yourself. Run away! Run away! Diana, are you running away again? Poor Tyler needs you. Just like Brian needed you when you deserted him. No, I didn't desert him. No. You left him up there to die. Shut up, Carter! Shut up! Shut up! That door 
Lover's the only way in. No, it isn't. There's a skylight. Don't answer. That nah, could be some sort of prearranged thing, a signal. You don't answer, they send the cops. Go check it out. Hello? Uh, is uh, Diana there? Uh, she can't come to the phone right now. Who is this? This is Kurt Sievers. Who's this? It's uh, Ed from the grocery store. I'd really like to talk to Diana. Where is she? Oh, well, she and Tyler both went rock climbing today. Both of them. High up. <laughs> That's so high, it makes me nervous just to look at them. Uh, I don't want to yell up at her, but if you think it's important, I will. No, no. Uh, well, how much longer do you think she'll be? Uh, well, they both uh, took the day packs with the food and the water. You know, I, I think they like each other. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be saying anything, but they, they shared a tent last night. I don't think they'll be camping near us now. What? Um, well, you kids, huh? <laughs> what are you going to do? Uh, when I do see her, what's the message? Uh, just tell her the uh, weather station up there where she's at. The damn thing has gone offline. Uh, something must have hit it, I guess. <clears throat> anyway, if she wants to make a few extra bucks, she can fix it. Or whenever. If she can't do it, you know, she's uh, too busy with Tyler. I'll be up there sometime Saturday to check it out. Okay, okay, Ed, nice stuff. Oh, Ed, 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 wait a second. Um, this uh, weather station thing you're talking about, doesn't it have any buried landlines or something like that as uh, an emergency backup? What, are you kidding me? It's in the middle of nowhere. Uh, this carries all the information in and out. Is that right? All right, good talking to you, Ed. See you later. Diana! Guess what the old guy from the grocery store just told me. Yes, yes, hello, hi. It's Ed and again. About Diana and Tyler. Hey, it was bound to happen. Tyler's a good looking young guy. Diana got lonely. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. But why do you have her phone? Because she must have just forgotten it here. Forgotten it? I gave it to her myself. Hey, I think I'm, I think you're breaking up. I think I'm losing you. Kick it in! <laughs> I just talked to Ed on your cell phone, and nobody's coming to rescue me. Well, it's going. Look, we're reasonable men. We don't want to kill you. Unless we have to. Doing. Cold. My arm's killing me. Yeah. 
Where's Kurt? You go. I think I killed him. <sighs> well, this might hurt a bit, but I gotta split your leg so I can walk you out of here. You can't. Yeah, I have to. I mean, if we don't get out of here by nightfall, we're never gonna make it. God, it's gonna be tough hauling you out of here. <sighs> what? You saying I'm fat? Keep that sense of humor. <laughs> We're gonna need it. Ah. Oh my god. I, I really killed them. They were gonna kill you. Tyler, I'm just gonna go up on the roof and see if I can fix the dish so we can get some help. Kyla, wait. You saved my life. Thank you. Thank you later. Saw you running away with that first aid kit. I knew you'd go to him. I backtracked you all the way here with Search Lab. And those copies that you said you made, all gone. I fried the hard drives. But you've got my disc, and I want it. If you kill me, Kurt, you're never going to make it out of here alive. Don't worry about me. I'll get back if I have to crawl. Give me that disc. I will. Once we're back in town, I'll give you the disc. You're in no position to bargain! Neither are you, Kurt. You're not gonna make it back to the car by dark. The only way you're getting out of here is by calling search and rescue and getting a helicopter. As if! Look, okay, I give you the disc and you leave me alone. Deal? We'll see. Toss down the disc. <laughs> No, you leave, I come down off this roof, and I leave it for you. Deal? Are you nuts? You think I'd trust you after what you did to Hugo? I want that disc! Bad. We need to call search and rescue. I already did. They're on their way. How did you know we'd be here? Well, when that city fellow answered your phone, I grabbed my ATV and double timed it up here. Oh, God. What the hell happened to him? Me. He's a bad man. Oh. <laughs> so how'd you know to come up here? What do you mean, how did I know? Well, I mean, how'd you know we'd be here? Diana, the man who was calling? What man? Come on, you must have heard him. Where is he? He was yelling from your direction, telling me to get my butt in gear and come over and help you. No, there's nobody else up here. The only way to face your own demons is to meet a real one, face to face. Kurt Seavers was that demon. I had not let myself heal from the loss of Brian, and I too had stopped living. I'll never know what happened to him. 
but at least his final resting place is where he'd want it. In the mountains that he and I love. Brian. I can get on with my life now, and in some strange way, I have Kurt Seavers to thank for that.